I like to text you, yes I do. Not really, just telling that for you. Oh hi there. I'm texturing and this is gonna be all over me. This ain't fun. Just gotta go slow, man. Soak it in. You don't know him. Put some beef behind it. I already got beef. Don't want it too bumpy. You got to go all the way up. Oh, this is even funner than painting. Not! Looks nice though. There's a hole right there I missed. Yeah, this is gonna do it. This is just what I'm, I like it. I like it a lot, I do. I got y'all on the tripod, obviously. Both my hands are busy. I hope I got enough of this joint compound. And I hope this roller will last, because these things are cheap. I got a good one around here somewhere. Somewhere. Alright guys, well, welcome to the channel. I'm going to be doing this most of the day, kind of boring, but I'll pop in every now and then and let you know and show you how it's going. But I don't think y'all want to watch this, because I don't want to do it. If I don't want to do it, you certainly don't want to watch it. Let me get this one little section. I might have to thin that stuff out a little bit. All right, I'll come back when uh, we get a little further along.
Anybody that's thinking, I'm going to take the easy way out and just texture the wall. You're wrong. It ain't the easy way out, let me tell you. The only reason I'm texturing them is because it's, it, these existing walls were textured. So I want them all to match. Now, it's coming out pretty good. It's a little, little less aggressive than that wall, but I don't know. You guys probably can't, can't see the texture in it, but it has a nice texture. Uh, you just kind of... If you mix it like pancake mix, it, it seems to do pretty well. And you just have to, you know, mix the water in real good, a little thicker than paint. And you have to remember when you're doing this to tell yourself you're not painting. So it doesn't matter if you miss, you know, if you can see spots like that. As long as it's got texture, which it does, the paint will fill in the rest and, you know, and I had to tell myself that a few times. What are you doing, dude? It doesn't have to cover everything. You just got to put a texture on it. So, now we're supposed to get some pretty ugly storms. Let's go out and see what it's looking like. Yeah, right now we ain't got anything coming. It sprinkled a few times. I had to stop and get some new wind windshield wipers because uh, mine weren't wiping. Well, we're supposed to get some storms. They, they, they always, whenever they say it's going to be really bad, usually nothing much happens. It's when they don't say nothing at all that you got to worry. Yeah. All right. Uh, hopefully, I got enough of that joint compound left to finish it. We'll go back in. Oh, there's Tilly. Millie don't like it when it's stormy. She's in her doghouse. Man, that pile of wood's back. <laughs> that's not the first pile. That's the second one. Pieces of sheet rock. I'll be glad when this gets done. But these walls... These walls are taking more time than I anticipated. That's all right. I'm going to get it done right. I just put another coat on this wall. It's about where it's flush and I taped it. Uh, oh yeah. That's pretty darn even there. So I probably, I have the fan running on. I got it turned off right now. But the reason I did not tear this out, I don't know if I told you guys, there is a metal strip here and i tore the piece out opposite right there and put new in and man is that a bear trying to get that stuff off that metal and get that metal out of there so i just chipped away where where it was till it was metal i filled it in and i went over it to this morning with tape and it's going to be good enough you know i'm going to probably sand it down a little bit and check it and if it needs any more i'll put more in uh but I, i'm i'm on i'll be to this wall here pretty soon that needs to be rolled out a little more it's pretty thick the good thing about this joint compound is it washes off really quick um, I just take it outside and under the spigot you don't need soap or nothing it comes right off so all right I'm gonna take a bit of a break let this stuff set up there's a few spots but you know the desk is gonna be here that's gonna be underneath and I'm still got a, I still got a paint now I picked up the paint this morning it's the same paint I got is up there. It's a primer and paint all in one. So I didn't have to waste money on it. It's a little more, but you don't have to buy the... It's cheaper than if you had to buy the primer separate. So that... I don't know if I'm going to get to any paint today. I got all the stuff ready for it. Yeah, we'll just see. I don't know. I'll work as long as I can. But when you're doing stuff like this, you're waiting on stuff to dry. You know, I can't obviously paint till... This will dry pretty quick. That, that took pretty much till this morning, but I don't have as much. It ain't as thick now, so that should be dry in a few hours. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> this is fun. Black walls. Putting it on thick on this wall because of that strip. If it shows a little bit, that's all right. I don't care. I'm not doing this to say, hey, man, this is how you do this. All I'm trying to achieve here is a little texture because it already had texture. And I put up new sheetrock that needed it to match. Once the paint's on, I'll let that dry. I'll probably go over that a couple times. It'll be all right. Be all right. Gotta build it up. I 
I have some strange walls in this place. When you have an A-frame, that's the way it is. You got 30 degree angles and all this and that and this. Well, I went to the grocery store, hardware store, a couple other places, and then I get home. And I gotta go to the bathroom. Then I go in there. I had walked around all morning in the store with my fly down. <laughs> People don't tell you no more. I ain't got no problem telling the dude, hey man, your barn door's open. No, nope, they won't do that no more. You're probably gonna look at that poor old man. Got his fly open. I don't care, ain't nothing embarrasses me. Tell me, make me laugh. That's thick. Yeah, this stuff, you just gotta keep a rolling on it. You'll know if it's, you got it too thick, because once you set a second, it'll start glistening. Then you know it's too heavy. Hear it? It goes, that's how you know it's too heavy. That's a tape mark. But you don't have to do as much work with the sanding and all that. Another reason I want to do it, because I tried sanding it, and I had the vacuum up there. Man, I was getting dust everywhere every two ways and I had just enough of this I'm probably gonna have enough left to go touch up some areas see how thick it goes on and then you have to just spread it out it's weird stuff I'm trying to coat that tape tape area this will have trim so I'm not really going all the way to the tops so I'm not going all the way to the bottoms then it will be covered up. You got to keep this roller going. If you stop, you get a flat mark. But all in all, let's look, I don't know what this looks like on camera. This will look, I can see the tape. It's going to have show a little bit because that's not even. There was no, the only way I could get this totally even would have been to tear this out it would have been a huge mess and I just don't care I mean I don't all it'll look good enough for me somebody don't like it when I kick the bucket they can redo it that's the way life should be do it for yourself don't worry about what the neighbors or anybody thinks I don't care less what people think. Yeah. It's one of the reasons I shy away from sheetrock most of the time. Because there's a lot of steps, man. Especially if you're texturing it. There's a lot of steps involved. That sometimes you don't need. They have a new product come out. It's made out of PVC. I've seen it. Uh, they say it's about as cheap as sheetrock. It's not as cheap as sheetrock, but you don't need to do anything else with it. We need to do this. Uh, it's like a plastic. So now our houses are going to be made out of plastic. All right, all I got left here is that little section. That's it. Well, let me see what's going on next. Well. We'll let this dry, start getting some paint on it. Once these walls are painted, I'll move on to the wood. Uh, well, I gotta paint the walls, yeah. And then I'll move on to all the wood for the ceiling and then here, and then go get flooring. Flooring has to be the next thing. And I'm holding off putting that piece of sheetrock in the kitchen. Ooh, don't get on the afghan piece of sheet in the kitchen until I put the counters in because if I put that in it may just be in the way so, and then I've got to put one on this side not important right now want to get the floors in 
I am not looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to having them, but I'm not looking forward to getting on my hands and knees. And, but I'll just take my time, get it done. All right, one more little piece, and we're done here. Gotta keep checking on Rooster. She's outside. Make sure it ain't raining. She won't let me know. She'll just stand out there and. But she'll bark at everything else. All right. Alrighty then. I got that jumped the gun a little bit. It's still wet from when I taped it up here. I don't care. That's gonna be covered. I don't care. It ain't gonna. That's what my grandpa said. Pictures are for cover up in spots. Oh no! And then I went over the like the parts that I had filled in holes, put some texture back on it, so it all matches. All right, well I'm gonna go around. First I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, <wait a> <laughs> <laughs> ah. Go around, touch everything up, clean up a little bit, and I'll be back. Jack, that's a fact. All right, starting to dry up. Just about ready to, this will be just about ready to paint. This wall is dry. Come out nice. Come out real nice. And then I touched up here, this is the last one. It's gonna be a little bit, I don't have a, well I got the ceiling fan going on that. But we should be able to get some paint on here today. But uh, I wanna make sure it's good and dry. You can still see this thing here, but I think I get some paint on it. It ain't gonna be so obvious. It's I don't care. I'm gonna have that black shelf right here, and then probably the bulletin board. It's gonna be fine. Now you're gonna get that in old uh, when you got old construction versus new stuff. You know, gives it character. Character. Yep. All right, I'll come back if I start start painting. I've been watching the weather. We got storms, but looks like they're trekking up north. We may get missed. I don't know. I doubt it, but we'll see. What are you seeing out there? Are you watching the weather? Oh yeah, starting to get storm cloudy. Yeah, they changed the weather forecast to significant hail and significant possibility of thunder or of tornadoes now we'll see supposed to get some this afternoon and then i'd rather rather it come this afternoon than at night when you can't see but at least now the time changed so eight o'clock it starts to get dark but you know what i ain't worried about the hail anymore am i we'll see what these other guys are doing and that's rooster spot right there. Oh, you're under the truck already? Now, that will be a good place for you to be tonight, but your doghouse is still the safest. Yeah, it's not supper time yet, but I'll see you in about a half an hour because we may have storms. Mm. <laughs> Stretch and groan. Yeah, because we might have storms. But you guys can get under my truck, yeah. That's a good spot. And I pulled over to this side because then I, that way I got the house blocking the front. But yeah, thank God I got this now. I don't have to worry about that. I know. Oh, I just had something come, guys. Did I lock that? I did. Well, there's Waddles. Let me get the key. This shed is getting full again. Is that another e-bike to add to the fleet? They say, watch what you wish for. <laughs> I just wanted one, but hey, 
This is a... What the hell's the name of Oh, the moss put in here. Oh, one's on my shoulder. I gotta put a stop to that. This is a Vitania. And that's my newest one. Haven't done the review on that yet. That's the Rattan. That's the same as that. And they did send me the second battery that mounts right there. I got the second battery in the kit to switch it over. So either one of them will take the second battery. That one's real fun. Well, they're all fun. But man, I'm going to have to get another building to store my e-bike fleet. <laughs> and get that gang going. In the event of bad weather, okay, I'm going to give you instructions. I don't want you to do it. You were to stay in your dog houses. They are the safest place for you. Yeah. They're round. And you're safe inside them. Those are tough, tough barrels. And if you're not comfortable in there, then you come under here and you get under my truck. So we're supposed to get softball, softball size hail. I know. That'll knock you clean out. It would. It knocked me clean out, huh, Millie? Good girls. What do you want for supper tonight? Beef, bacon, and cheese? Beef? Chicken? That's about all we got. Because I go to the store tomorrow. Get you guys more. Alright. I gotta get in there and see if the walls are first on my face. See if the walls are dry. But I'm gonna feed you guys first. We're gonna feed you as soon as I go in. Ah, just sitting out here. You gotta give them chair time. Gotta give them chair time. I gotta get you guys your collars, your flea collars, and your next gear, what are they called? Serestos. Yeah. If y'all use the Serestos, I have a video. Uh, you get the large Seresto, you cut it in half, and it covers both of their collars. I don't know what dogs go on the large, that they make the large ones for, but they're, they're about that long. Cut them in half, and then I zip tie them to the inside of their collars. No, no worries about bugs. All right, let's go in here and see where we're at. See if I'm going to get the paint. You think we're going to get the paint? Which door did I come in? Yeah, I got to get uh, a different, at least a door where I can open it from the outside. So I can't do that with this one. But what I do is if I got groceries. Pull in, I go unlock the, unlock the front door, and then I come back here, get the groceries, no big deal. Right, Telly? Alright guys, it looks like it's taking its time drying, mostly that back wall and this one, where I, and I've got it on pretty heavy. So I'm probably just going to wait till overnight and let it dry real good and then start painting it in the morning. Shouldn't take me very long to get this painted and then probably going to start on the... Well, now tomorrow i got to go get some dog food and things. So I'll probably get a late start. I get up early. I'll just get a late start in it. Let's take a look. This wall is pretty much dry. Now, it didn't go overboard. That's about the way I wanted it. I don't know if I can zoom in good enough so y'all can see the texture on that. But uh, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, there's some lines, and but it's still wet. You can see how dry it is here. And it's darker here. That means it's still wet. And then, of course, this. And I may hit that again with some more of that. There, yeah, I'm almost out of it, so I barely had enough to finish. But I think it's going to be good enough to paint. So we're getting there one step at a time. As you know, I like to record the whole process. Uh, it will come in handy if I do make a longer video later and need to come back and get some clips. I'll have them. And the new fan's doing well. I like it. So in the next few days, we're going to see a major change. It's going to look a lot better. I know it's hard to imagine what I got in my mind right now, but it's going to look better. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I got to get some stuff I got that metal laying on the ground out there. I got to get some uh, weight on top of it. Uh, we're supposed to have some high winds. Looking at the radar, it's it's just missing us. It's kind of going straight northeast. So I hope that's the case. But usually when it does that, you know, these storms that we're having now are pop-up storms. So you never know when they're going to hit. 
and uh, that's the only thing in life that stresses me out anymore is these storms because they're seems like they're all brutal but just keep on ticking I guess all right guys thanks for watching happy trails